Good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Shayla. Just getting a little bit ready because I have kind of a busy day. Mostly I just have stuff booked semi back to back. I have a nail appointment this morning because this was the only time she could get me in in the next like four or five days. I had to go ahead and snag it. And then I have a couple of podcast interviews today for my podcast, The Yoga Inspired Life scheduled back to back. And then I have a friend that's in town from LA. So my best friend Brooke and I are gonna go and meet up with her for drinks. And then Brooke and I are going to a comedy show tonight. I have all good fun stuff today. It's just kind of like scheduled by the hour, which is quite all right. Just know that I won't really have time after my nail appointment to get myself semi ready. I'm also in the midst of launching the next cycle of the Yoga Inspired Life program. So I have some stuff to do for that today too. Emails, brand partnerships, all the things. Basically doing my makeup the same way I did it in my makeup routine that I shared with you over the summer. I will link that video below. Also in the description box of that video, I linked all of the products that I use. So you can go there for that. I've also weirdly had like this cyst here for like two weeks. And I'm starting to feel like, is that a pimple or is it something else? Like it's not coming to the surface. It's so weird and it's not red. It's just skin colored. I don't know, it's kind of scaring me. Anyway, ready to go with a few minutes to spare. Although I'm gonna deal with my hair later. It's like wet and gray out. And I feel like if I try to wave my hair now, that it's just gonna go frizzy the moment I walk outside. So we'll do with the hair later. I'm wearing the comfiest set today though. And I have to tell you about this brand, Naywai. And this is the perfect time to do it because they are also sponsoring this portion of the video. I recently got a pair of pajamas from them. I actually wore them in my last vlog in my Sunday reset. I am obsessed with them. First and foremost, I love the quality of this brand, but I also love what they're about as a whole. Naywai actually means feeling good inside and out. And if you've been watching my videos for a while or following me on Instagram, then you know I'm literally all about that. So it just feels super aligned. Naywai has pajamas, activewear, bras, underwear. They even have a men's line. They have a really expansive collection of high quality, soft, clothing. I'm going to show you the pajamas later or tomorrow morning at some point when I'm wearing them, but their Barely Zero collection is chef's kiss. I'm wearing the Barely Zero classic wireless bra and the Barely Zero high-waisted leggings. And this material, you guys, is so buttery soft. It feels like second skin. That's like why I'm wearing it today because I know I'm gonna be in this set all day and I wanna feel comfortable and I don't wanna feel like clothing is restricting me, especially when I'm sitting down recording podcast interviews and I just wanna be comfy and this set is it. The other cool thing about their Barely Zero collection is it's technically one size. They have a measurement guide on their website and as long as you are within the measurement parameters, which are pretty expansive, you'll fit into the one size. And that to me just makes ordering online, especially bras, so much easier. You don't even have to worry about the sizing because measure yourself as long as you're within the parameters, you know, it's going to fit. And I honestly was like a little skeptical about the one size business, but after receiving my bra and leggings, and I also got a bra and underwear set in the one size, the fit is impeccable. Let me just show you this bra really quick. If it wasn't so cold out, I would just be wearing this bra because you can totally rock it just like a crop top. But like I said, it is wireless. It's this really thin, barely there, seamless material that feels like you have nothing on, yet somehow the way that they constructed it makes it still feel really supportive, yet so comfortable I could sleep in it. The leggings, like I said, are high-waisted. I just cannot get over this fabric. I love this set for like lounging around or work days like I have today where I want to be comfortable, but I know that I'm going to be in whatever I'm wearing for long periods of time. But I also love this set for yoga. I took it for a spin outside and was doing handstands and practiced in it the other day. Also did a workout in it and it was perfect. Naywai has been kind enough to extend a discount code for you guys. I will pop it here on the screen as well as link it below and I will link everything that I'm wearing below. I feel like you're really going to love this brand and I'm just super excited to be working with them. So thank you Naywai for sponsoring this portion of the video. Definitely check them out. Since it is 40 degrees outside, it's time for me to bundle up and get on over to my nail appointment. And we're doing a beanie. Why not? It's cold. <laughs> Can't decide what color I wanna do. I'm thinking red, but I'm like, hmm, should I do my usual 
light pink neutral one more time and then do red in December because I'll probably go in like two or three weeks. I need to think on that. Anyway, let me show you the fit. Switching over to my phone, have my Nay leggings on, as you know, waterproof Uggs, just in case it starts raining again. My long black jacket, which honestly might be overkill today, but that's okay, we're going with it. Little black beanie, and we're good to go. went red with my nails, really love them. I had to like power walk home though because I was about to be late for my first podcast interview, which I just finished with. I have a really quick break right now until the next one. So I'm gonna try and make a little something to eat. I think I'm gonna do cauliflower gnocchi. At least pop it in the oven and get it going. I like to bake it so it's crispy from Trader Joe's with some vegan kale pesto also from Trader Joe's. I'm going to take the peppers out. Here's my setup. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Come on, girlies. I'm just baking it at 400 degrees until it is crispy. Did a little quick change, threw a hat on because my hair just feels and looks so like stringy today. I think because I wore a beanie most of the day. We're rocking a hat to fix that. My top is from Revolve. I will link it below. This hat is from Brixton. Ah! The hat is from Brixton. It's old, but I'm pretty sure they still sell it because I feel like it's one of their staple hats. It's like called a fisherman's hat, I think. I don't know. Jeans are from Zara. I will show you my boots in a second. And then I'm going to wear this faux leather faux fur coat that my mom actually got me for my birthday when she was here back in May. I haven't gotten a chance to wear it because it hasn't been chilly enough, but now it finally is. I have no idea if I'll be able to find the link for this coat. I will try. If I'm able to find it, I will link it below. Otherwise, I don't know because I think it's like an old style, but I'll, just, I'll do my best. Meeting up with Brooke now, and then we're heading into the city to meet with our friend Britton, who, like I said, is here visiting from LA. We're gonna grab a drink, I believe at this place called Rin Tin Tin, and then Brooke and I are heading to a comedy show, which I'm so excited about. I need a good evening of belly laughing. Laughter truly is the best medicine. So I'm really looking forward to that. Boots are also old. I will try to link them below if I can. They're my little waterproof ankle boots. I got them for London a couple years ago. Okay, Brooke just texted me. Let's go. Am I gonna regret not wearing a heavier jacket? I mean, it's so cute, but I wish I had gloves too. Am I making a mistake? I sure hope not. Let us pray that I don't freeze my butt off. These don't even have warm pockets. Ah, wish me luck. Okay, update, I am, I mean, I'm cold. <laughs> but Brooke is a good friend and she wore her lighter jacket so we could be cold together and we love her for that. My yeah. phone, I can't even hold my phone still. Um, anyway, we are walking to the subway and I'll see you at the bar because I'm too cold to hold my phone out. <laughs> Ready to laugh? I'm ready to laugh. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> okay, so we actually came because I think I mentioned this a couple of vlogs ago, but Ashley Hesseltine is part of Girls Bad Podcast. She's also a comedian and she's 
she was doing stand up here tonight. I was like, do you want to go? This is so random. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go laugh. And so we're here, and I'm so excited. Hope to still get picked on. I'll just pull my hat down. Home, that was so much fun. I am so cold right now. It's so cold by the water. Shower, change, and then we'll walk the doggies because I need to put a warmer coat on. Actually, I'm still fully in my pajamas. This is the plushy pajama top and the plushy pajama bottoms from Naywai that I was telling you about yesterday. They are so comfortable. I never want to take them off. They're faux fleece with cotton. So cozy, warm, and soft. And I feel like they're elevated enough that you can wear them as like a loungewear set. And then also wear them to bed, which I love because this morning I just threw a coat on over them with my Ugg boots and took the dogs for a walk. And then, as I said, I got ready and then totally wore it as a top on my Zoom call with the brand. So we love that. Again, I'm going to pop my code on the screen for you so you can get a little sneaky discount on Naywai. And I'll also leave a link to shop down below. I'm adding my Barefoot Dreams blanket to get cozy here with you. <laughs> Last night was really, really fun. It was so good to see Britain. And obviously it's always a wonderful time to hang out with Brooke. It's funny because Britain used to teach yoga at Aloe Yoga with me. And Brooke used to manage all of the studios and stuff at Aloe Yoga. So we all kind of worked at Aloe before and now we're all kind of doing different things. Although I still kind of work with Aloe here and there, but it's fun to reconnect and catch up. I haven't been drinking very much lately, which has not been really intentional. I didn't intend to not drink as much. I just haven't been as social, or I guess the things that I've been doing that have been social have been during the day and I'm not like a big day drinker, but it was really fun last night. And I feel like I'm finding a good balance. Like right when I first moved here, I was doing a lot of social things and I feel like I was drinking a lot more frequently, not in a way that was like out of control, but I definitely was drinking more frequently than I had in the past. Kind of went into this stage of coming back into balance and and thinking about, you know, I had mentioned wanting to do a fall reset. Sadly, I just don't have the capacity or energy or time to do something like that since I'm deciding to do Vlogmas. So I'm sorry about that, but maybe we'll do something in the future in the new year with that. But with that, even though I didn't do an actual challenge with you guys, I still personally was like, you know, I just want to be more mindful about what I'm eating and what I'm drinking and take care of my skin a little bit more and drink a little bit more water and focus on my sleeping habits and feel really good about the balance that I'm cultivating. I've gotten this question before about drinking and stuff like that. And I think that it's all about how you feel with anything, whether that's what you eat or what you drink or who you hang out with or what you watch or how you're spending your time. If it's not making you feel good, then that to me is a red flag. If you're doing it with intention and it's adding value and joy to your life and it makes you feel good and it makes you feel happy and you're not hurting anyone or yourself, then I'm all about doing whatever it is that makes you feel good and that could change as time goes on and you're like allowed to ebb and flow and change your mind and try things and then stop doing things and then come back to them and etc. I don't know if I'm making sense, but this past six and a half months since moving to New York City has just been such a fun time for me to explore a new version of myself and try new things and see what works and see what doesn't and lean a little this way and then lean a little more this way. And it's just been a good time for me to experiment and rediscover what makes me feel good and what brings me the most joy. And yeah, I'm just feeling really happy the last couple of weeks. I've been feeling really good in balance and I've just been 
focusing on myself. I haven't really been dating the last couple of months, which has felt good to me. I just felt like I needed to focus on myself. Speaking of dating, I actually have a date tomorrow, which should be fun. But yeah, I'm just feeling really happy and settled here and excited for the holidays, excited for my mom to come in a couple of weeks and excited for Christmas. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good and I know you guys know this, but I'm so grateful for you guys. I feel like this community here on my YouTube channel is growing and I see so many of the same faces in the comments and don't really look at the subscriber count or anything like that because this is like my passion to make videos and document my life, but it is really fun to see this community growing and I'm excited to see what's in store for this channel in the new year. And I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but just thinking about that this morning, like the possibility of growth and maybe being able to do more videos. So on that note, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, cause that definitely helps my channel. The more subscribers I have, the more amazing aligned brand partners we can bring onto this channel. And that allows me to be able to pour more energy into my YouTube channel, which actually I don't know how much more energy I could pour into it because I already definitely do prioritize <laughs> vlogging in this channel, but you know what I mean. I'm just grateful for you and feeling extra grateful for life in general right now feeling very good. Anyway, I am going to answer some emails and get a little bit of work done. I have an event later tonight, which should be fun. I'll take you with me to that. And before then, I would love to go down to the gym at some point and work out, definitely. And I need to wash my hair and shower and stuff like that, which I'll do after the gym. Also, I'm just looking at my calendar. Speaking of Vlogmas, I just wanna warn you now that I do think that I'm going to take a little break from YouTube right before vlogmas just so that i have some time to recoup get ahead with the podcast get things planned i am planning to vlog every single day in december until christmas which i'm really excited about but it's also going to be a lot because i do have my instagram and tiktok brand partnerships the podcast two dogs myself, my mom coming into town, it's gonna be a lot. So I'm trying to see if I can give myself a little bit of a rest right before to gather up my energy. So I'm thinking that I might do one more video on November 24th, and then I will probably take a week off and I'll start vlogging for Vlogmas on December 1st. And so you'll see the first Vlogmas video on Friday, December 2nd. That's my plan. Hopefully you're okay with that. I'm assuming that you will be since you're gonna get so many videos in December. If something changes, I'll definitely announce it on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, definitely go and do that. It's at Shayla Quinn. Also follow me on TikTok. It's at Shayla.Quinn. That's the plan right now for Vlogmas. I think that'll be a nice little break for myself before the chaos of December. December. So you heard it here first. For now, it's time to get a little work done. Would you guys judge me if I wore the same leggings that I wore yesterday, today to the gym? I feel like I didn't sweat in them yesterday because I just went and got my nails done and then sat and podcasted all day and worked. And I'm literally just gonna go and work out and then shower and change again. And I don't really feel like getting another pair of pants dirty plus just like really obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. Yeah, I don't care. I'm wearing them again. You can judge me if you want. I always feel so much better after I work out. I really wanna come up with a proper like workout routine. You guys ask me about how I like know what to do in the gym. I worked with a trainer for a while. I've been working out for years, like over a decade. So I feel like I have 
pretty good knowledge. Plus I'm a yoga instructor, so I know the body pretty well. I want to come up with a workout program for myself that I'm gonna follow. Maybe that's something that we do during Vlogmas. I don't know, just throwing out some ideas. Don't get too excited. Makeup is done, I showered. Trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to this event tonight. It's actually a wreath making class, which I think will be really fun. Thinking this green sweater and maybe my faux leather pants and either sneakers or boots. All right, it's been decided. I'm wearing the sneakers and the green sweater. Um, excuse me, I didn't even think of this. I'm so ready for Christmas with my red and green. Okay, yeah, actually it's 5.15. I need to go. They actually gave me an Uber code, which is great, but I think I'm going to take the Uber home. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's time to go. <laughs> My rash is cleared up. I just have the most sensitive skin. The event was for Neom. I don't know that I actually said that and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a UK based brand and they sent me a candle, I think like a year, possibly a year and a half ago. And I absolutely loved the candle. So I was super excited to go to their event tonight. Wreath making, what a fun date night idea. Like fun with your girlfriends, fun with your significant other. I'm sure if you search in your area, there's floral shops that are offering wreath making classes for the holidays. Wow, this dog needs all the attention right now. Are you gonna climb up here? You gonna climb all the way up? <laughs> You're gonna snag my sweater. Okay, come on up. Okay, uh, did you miss me? I missed you too. They sent us home with some goodies. So before I let you go, I thought we would open it together. I feel like this is always fun. The first thing they sent us home with is this sleepy bag. Then they sent us home with this really cute holiday candle. Between this candle and the wreath making class, I'm so excited for the holidays. Christmas wish. I'm not gonna burn it though until Vlogmas. We will burn this together. Mandarin, cinnamon, and tonka bean. It actually smells so good and I love the packaging. That is so, so cute. And then they sent us home with this, which is a little candle trio. A Christmas wish, perfect piece, and cozy nights. I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Perfect for Christmas. We're gonna save these for Vlogmas too. I'm so grateful. I wanna get a hanger thing for the door and I wanna hang the wreath inside because we can't hang it outside in my building, but it'll be nice and festive. It smells amazing. So we'll have to do that during Vlogmas. What a fun couple of days. My heart is so full. I've had such a good week this week. I'm gonna end the vlog now. It's 9.30. I'm gonna shower, walk the dogs, get ready for bed, chill. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm really excited about Vlogmas. As I said, I trying to decide if I'm gonna do one more video on the 24th. I'll keep you posted on that on my Instagram. Otherwise, definitely get ready for Vlogmas. December 2nd will be day one because I'm gonna start on December 1st and we'll hang out every single day until Christmas in December. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Subscribe if you're new. Have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video.